guys so tonight i'm going to do my 21 week uh pregnancy update um i am 21 weeks tomorrow <laughs> i had to figure out what day it was um so i thought i'd do it it's a day early but whatever um and i had my first um obstetrician appointment on friday which was just it was really complicated even to get into the building You've got a call from the car to say you're there, but then I had paperwork that had to go in to um, the doctor so to read like my history and stuff, even though he knows my history. But um, yeah, so we had to do that again. Um, then I had to go back out to the car and then we had to have like a phone interview before, which went for like half an hour so and then you had to go back in and get your temperature checked and a whole bunch of stuff weigh yourself and um other things and they checked your glands and stuff and i don't know they checked a whole bunch of other stuff and then finally you got to go in and then they went over how it's working with the births at the moment where only one partner can come in and um it's a uh, possibility that the partner wouldn't be able to go to the not the birth ward the other one the one you go to afterwards afterwards ward I don't even know what it's called I think it's just the maternity ward anyway but uh, that was fine and um, the kids aren't allowed to the hospital and most likely won't be allowed at that time too uh, and, and I wouldn't want them there anyway so they will just have to meet her when she comes home Otherwise, um, baby and I are doing really well. I have low blood pressure majority of the time, all the time actually. So it was right on par for what I, what I, what I am or what I usually am. So it um, all so far is going well. I have to go and have another scan because I didn't do the main scan at um, 21 weeks. So I've got to go do that this week I'm hoping they have an appointment so we'll see and um yeah but otherwise baby looked great in the original scan which was done at 17 weeks and they just want to redo the heart and stuff so just to make sure so that is fine I'll go do that and all the blood tests you have to do now um and they were going to do the whooping cough and flu shot but um they ran out of time because it's just like a process and a half just to get in to see them so yes so um yes yeah, so that was really well um and i think that's all i have pregnancy wise to go through i have a whole bunch of stuff that i've got her that i ordered that wasn't in the haul which i was going to show you um this week has been a pretty tough week i thought i could make these like a a weekly update as well so last week was all over the place and that's my washing machine I'm really sorry but I've got to finish the washing before I go to bed because it's so far behind because I literally did none all week actually I think we did two or three loads of it that's none in this house really so um yes yeah, so it was really hectic and I felt like I was always just going everywhere and anywhere and not really having a focus on what a, I was filming, B, what activities Joel and that had to do, um, all the other kids, because you still sort of have to do other things with them. Um, and my housework just went plummeting down the hill. So um, I've written a schedule. I used to actually write a schedule way back. Like, I used to work with the first three, so I always had it then. And then I had it for quite some time so um i'm reintroducing that into my life so i'm gonna stop that stop that because no one wants to listen to the spin cycle and it's really loud um yeah so i've rewritten that in everything so i have a checklist so i can just go through by the end of the day everything should be complete so today was the first day i did it and i've missed three things posting on instagram and posting on our facebook page which i'm really bad at at any time and um i may not get to end, um, edit this vlog because i didn't film it during the day like i was going to so yeah so it was really 
I'm really hoping that will help. I'm going to pre-do Joel's activities because I just don't feel like, like they've just got to get an S to colour in. I just don't feel like that's enough for him to learn a letter. Like, yeah, so we're going to do some S activities and all that. Um, and yeah, and I might be more interactive with Harry's teacher who I haven't even spoken to this whole time. So anyway, we'll get there. So hopefully next week's a little bit less stressful and yeah, but for now I'm going to show you what I got the baby and I almost said her name. So first off I've got um, the card as well, which I said I had coming. Now, I didn't pay $28 for this and I have no idea what I paid, but this, is a little rumper which I'll put on her kind of like a snowsuit so she'll wear her normal like sleep suit underneath and if we go out this like there's like a jumpery type thing so I thought that was cute but I also think it's really small for example this is so this is newborn this is um, zero to three months and that is the difference in the sizes so there's a massive difference so this one looks huge for a three to zero to three months but same sort of thing and 28 i'm pretty sure they were 40 or 50 percent off so i think they're selling like 14 15 dollars just got a little hoodie so it'll be a nice warm thing if we can actually go outside at that point and then I got these mix and match sets. These were 18, but I'm certain they were 40 or 50% off. So they're just little tracksuit pants. And then you've got like a heart hoodie with a zipper. I only like the zipper jumpers with newborns. I don't like to try and get it over their head. So this one is $28. And a plain version to go with the first pants, or you could mix it up. It's mix and match. So you've got little. Oh no, these ones don't have love on the pocket. The other one did. No, it didn't. So that was twenty eight as well. Again, I'm pretty. I wouldn't have paid that for it. And we've got the little love heart print, which is cute. And then I love Carter's little onesies so we got like a florally plant a checkered print a big dotted print that was really hard little love hearts and then little dots the first one and these are 40 and I'm certain I only paid like 20 22 or something for them and then I got like a cherry one. I can't even read what it says. I love you cherry much. Thought that was cute. These are in newborn. Because I find that go through a lot. Strawberries. Flowers. Big cherries. And little girl big heart. And then this is for summer, so this is three to six months, just so Australians know. It says that it's six months, but it's our three to six months, um, or double zero sizing. So we got one of the kids' bouncy balls that they were looking for. Got little flamingos. And then another tropical sort of print and just green checks, big pink dots or white dots on pink. And it's kind of annoying how this one's and then Aloha Cutie. And then I've got a pink version of these from um, 
Best and less. These are eight dollars. These feel so soft. But they didn't have many left when I went back. And then I found this in a three zero or zero to three months um, underworks one, which was fifteen. I've already taken the tag off to um, wash it. Um, but it's really soft. It's like a thermal material. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be too big. Who knows? We live in Melbourne, so we'll probably use it over summer anyway. Uh, then I brought a three pack of t-shirts from Target when I was there to grab all the other kids' winter clothes, which was only like six items. And that was $15, so you've got a peach with a love heart. Polka dots coloured and blue and white striped. Oops. And then I got three leggings to match the things. So just flower ones, pear ones, and stripies. Then I brought her a little fun light shirt, which I thought was cute. And little black jeggings. So that is um, the other part of that haul that I did. Um, the rest of it, and a few extra things that I brought along the way because I do that. Um, and yeah, so that is all for today, guys. I hope you liked the vlog, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.